To get records from the database using NT Framework is incredibly easy. In the getProducts method, let's use the using statement using vardb equals new products context and then we're going to create a variable called products that will be assigned to the db.products.to list. So we are using the db set products and calling its method to list. And we're going to change the methods signature so that it returns a list of products and we will return the products variable. And we can simplify this to list call. We don't need to pass the product since the model is inferred. Now to visualize the list of records, let's create a new class which will contain the user interface. So we're gonna call it user interface. We will tidy it up as usual. And we're gonna make this class static since it doesn't contain any state. It's a class that's available to us at all times. It doesn't need to be instantiated. Then we will create a method that's also static. And this one won't return any data. The objective is just to show the product table, hence the name. And it expects a list of products as a parameter and we're going to create a new instance of the table class, which belongs to the spectre.console and store it in a variable called table. Then we need to declare the columns of this table by calling the add column method, passing the header of the column. And in our case, one of the columns will be the ID and the other will be the name, since these are the two properties of the product model. Then for each product in the list of products, we're going to print a new row. And we do that by calling the no surprise add row method of the table variable. And the add row method takes strings as parameters. So we are passing the ID converted to string and the name which is already a string. Then we need to call the ANSI console.write and pass the table object. And I'm also going to call the console.readline so that it doesn't print and continue. It waits for the user to press something before continuing. And we will add a console.writeLine method to say that the user needs to press a key. Then we can go back to the menu in the program.cs. And in the view all products case, we're going to store the list of products coming from the controller into a variable, which we'll call products. And we will pass this list of products to the show product table of the user interface class. So pretty straightforward. So let's run the app and see if it works. And we can see that our list of coffees was correctly printed. But since our console doesn't get cleared after I choose an option, I'm going to add that call in the end of the show product table method so that it clears the console before opening the main menu again. So that's it. Entity Framework makes it very straightforward to get data from the database. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn how to get one record based on its ID.